If you're a Canadian, then you definitely need to sign up for the My Account from the Canada Revenue Agency or CRA for short. I'll be going through the required steps to register and log into My Account so you guys can follow along and get your account set up super quick and easy. Click the link in the description box below and it will take you to the CRA's homepage which will look exactly like the screen I'm on right now. Feel free to pause this video now if you need to. The reason that you need to sign up for the My Account on the CRA site is because you can get access to information regarding your income taxes, GST, HSD credits, RRSP and TFSA details. And on top of that, you can now apply to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit on here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this green button here that says sign into CRA account, and you guys can do the same. But before we go any further, this is a Government of Canada website. So they do their best to ensure your privacy is protected at all times. I've been using this account for such a long time now and I have, I've had no issues at all. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit here and I'm gonna click on this green button here that says my account because we're trying to create our own individual my account with the CRA. So I'm gonna click on this button here. Now, if we scroll down a bit more, it's gonna give us three different options. Option one says sign in partner login slash register. It sounds kind of weird, but all it's saying is that you can sign into this and register using your online banking credentials. So if you have online banking, you can just sign up and register using your online banking credentials and that's it. So option number two is telling us to create a separate username and password. I'm not a huge fan of this one just because I don't want to remember another username and password. I already have online banking, so why not just use that and log in? You know what I mean? And then the third option is going to be using a BC services card. Now, this is just going to be for British Columbia residents that have a services card. So like I said, option number one is probably the easiest way for you to register for my account on the CRA. As long as you have online banking with one of these 15 banks. Now, if you don't, then you're forced to go with option number two, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The only difference between option number one and two is that you have to create a separate username and password. Other than that, the entire registration process is basically the same thing. So don't worry. I'm going to select option number one, but before I proceed any further, you're going to need four specific items to complete this registration. It's a one-time thing, so let's just get it over with together and get this account set up. These items will help validate and protect your identity on the site. First thing you'll need is your social insurance number or your SIM card. Then you'll need your last year's tax return because they'll ask for line number 101. Then you're gonna to need to know your postal code and your birthday. And if you don't have or know any of these items, then get up and go ask your parents, check your files. Take a second and pause this video if you need to. I'll wait for you right here. All right. I hope you have all the information that you need now. So I'm going to get started over here by going on to option number one, and I'm going to click this big green button that says sign in partner login slash register. So now you got to choose one of the 15 banks that they provided here that you do your online banking with. I do my online banking with CIBC. So I'm going to start with that. So after putting in my online banking credentials, I will press sign on over here. And then it asks you to include your social insurance number. So we're going to punch that in as well. Press next. And don't forget that your privacy is also going to be protected here. Now it's going to ask us for our postal code so we can put that in as well. And date of birth. Put in all the correct information because that's the best way the government will um, identify who you are. And now you got to look at last year's tax return and look for line number 101 and input that number over here and only put the dollar amount. So once you inputted all of your information, you can just press next. Now, if you didn't include any of the right information, then they're going to call it as an error and you're gonna have to start over again. If you did include the correct information, then they're gonna let you proceed. Now, the next thing they ask you, or the next thing that they tell you over here is that they're going to mail you a security code from the CRA. This security code is going to be delivered by mail to your house in five to 10 business days. 
So what we can do right now is we'll press next. So this screen over here is going to ask you to confirm that the postal code that you provided was the correct one. And that's where they're going to send the mail. So I'm going to press, I confirm, and then I'm going to press next. At that point, it's going to give you limited access to your MyCRA account, which is no problem at all. Now you just got to wait five to 10 business days until they send you the security code. Once that happens, you can come back and you can enter the security code with, that they sent you right over here. At that point, you can punch in the security code that you got in the mail and it's going to look something like this. So once you get your CRA security code in the mail, then you just input the number into the account. And then by then you'll have full access to your My Account. And now we have finally gotten full access to My Account with the CRA. You'll be able to see all of your important financial information here, like income tax stuff, TFSA, RRSP details, GST, HST credits, and more importantly, you can apply to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit or the CERB using this account as well. It's good to have it all set up so that you can see when the government is going to pay you. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you're able to sign up quick and easy. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And again, feel free to leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment box below. See you in the next video.